my eldest. Oh. Yeah. Hi. I'm Jones. Elizabeth. Okay, so are you married? Uh, uh, sister, let me see you off. I'll be right back, okay? Yes, Mama. Hey, um, Mama, eh? Who was that a guy that I just saw living with Chisa? That was why I asked you to come. Mm? That was why you asked me to come. Yes. Uh, Mama? Yes. You asked me to come because of that forfeit that I just saw. Yes. Okay. Because uh, Elizabeth, Mama, your younger sister mm. is already married in her husband's house with a son. And the youngest one is about to get married. That was the man you saw her with. Mama, I don't understand. What does that have to do with me? I need to understand. It has a lot to do with you. Okay. Yes. It has a lot to do with you. Okay. Because you are their elder sister. You have not brought any man for me yet in this house. Because the river does not flow backward. It flows front. But in your own case, I don't understand what you want for your life. Mama, wait, wait. I need to understand something. Is this why you called me to leave my work in the city to come back? Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. you called me to come back and come and see who? The man that your sister <gasps> actually called me to come back mm -hmm. because of this. Mama, yes. couldn't you have told me about this on the phone? If I told you that on the phone, you would think I'm exaggerating. That was why I wanted you to come and see with your two eyes. To come and see who, Mama? Mwa will you be alone? Mwa da kwambo? Mwa ee oyo? Mwa ngige? Will you be alone? Who the hell did you ask me to come and see, Mama? When I came into this compound, I did not see any convoy. Mm -hmm. In fact, that man should not be even up to 3.8 feet. That dwarf, that expired midget. You asked me to come and see an expired pick me, come on. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! I find me looking Bring the dwarf for me. Bring home a dwarf man for me. I will accept him as a son in law. Elizabeth, whether rich or poor, a man is a man. Don't count on a man's beginning, his ending. That's what matters. Really, Mama? Yes. <laughs> Mama, you would have told me that you called me back to the village for you to mock my single, I mean, my singlehood, right? Mm -hmm. Like an under single. Yes. yes. Mama, let me tell you something you don't mm. know. Hmm? I rather remain single than bring back a man that is lower than six feet for you. If you feel in a minute, a man begin and not end it. It ain't for me, man. I ain't doing that shit. Bring back a dwarf for me. A son in law will take it. You will not remain single in my house. Not in my house. Not in this house. You must get married. Don't worry. Let me finish. Sister, are you going already? What sort of stupid question is that? No, I am staying back. Any problem? So soon. Auntie, any problem? Uh, um, sister, we need to discuss. Discuss about what? There is something I want to tell Listen, you. Listen, I have something very important to do at the office in the city. And if it's about that expired midget, that borough postman that managed to wear some yellow and yellow up and down, and that borough post cap that you wear, <laughs> shut up! Right in front of you, he insulted me, he did not say anything. Which one is, are you married? Because he managed to pick some, 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 some change to get married, Abby. It's okay, eh? Please, calm down. I'm sorry. That expired shrimp. What is it? What do you want to tell me? Listen, Mama already told me about the guy. If that's what you want to tell me. I hope you're not angry. Angry for what? Angry for what? Okay, sister. Uh, because you managed to wear a green and green cloth that is open by the side with a purple hair like someone that wants to sister, fly. Sister, stop. It's okay. Like a baby monger. It's okay. Please, talk. Uh, maybe I should have waited for you to get married first before my own. See, I actually said I wasn't going to get married though. Until you are married first. But Mama said I shouldn't wait for you. Ah, hmm? yeah. Mama will always tell you what to do now. No, Mama also told you not to have a pointed nose like every one of us. Mama also told you to have an I homo nose. Abby, let's start today. If you want to get married, you get married. Marriage not by age. 
Do you understand me? If you have a capital to get married, you get married to a capital. In my propose, you got law. Sister, you are insulting me. I don't like it. What is that insult about you? Go and walk on your line. I don't like it. What is wrong with that? So you cannot run away from your shadow. Elizabeth, no matter how hard you try, I must tell you the truth. What truth are you talking about, Mama? Oh, the truth I'm telling you is that all your mates are all married. Hmm. They are all in their husband's houses. Hmm. Chinasa is in her husband's house with three kids. What about Uchechi? Uchechi just had a set of twins. Her mother is in her house for Mugwa. Elizabeth, when will your own time come? When will I come to your house for Mugwa? When? Mama, Point of correction, you just compared me with some expired calories. Yes, Mama. Those people you just mentioned now are nothing but expired calories in this village. Why would you compare me with them? Secondly, Mama, how is it by making that I am still unmarried? How? Oh, you don't know how it's your making. You don't know how it's your making. Mama, I don't know. Eh? When I talk, you start speaking big, big English to me. What is that you tell me? I have my opic mind. Mama, I just said and you have a local mentality. Okay, local mentality. That's what I said. Thank you. I'm going to I will tell you that in education, I will do Eh? When you were busy, when you were busy, Elizabeth, mm -hmm. roaming from one clubhouse to the other, you have forgotten that a day like this will come. Mama, what does jumping from one clubhouse to another have to do with this? For goodness sake, I have really stopped the job. I long time quit at the job. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no. You have quit the job of Isape, Isachie. Am I just opening and closing? Uh -huh. yes. Open and close. You have stopped it. Eh? Ask them what I know if you have a job. Can you do your job? Oh, no. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. Elizabeth, Isape, Isachie. Mama, I'm going to get a job. Uh -huh. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. No problem. Ah. The stigma still lingers. The stigma remains even in 20 years time. Whenever anybody comes around to marry you, those that know you will tell him that you were once a stripper in a club. Huh. Mm? Mama, mm? thank you so much. You just cost me. It's something in 20 years' time. That means you're not even praying to have grandchildren. I can understand that. Mama Biko, I am begging you. Since you know all those things, can you at least give me peace of mind? Can I have peace? Peace to do what? Peace to leave you alone so that you don't get married. I see one again. I said, yes, Elizabeth, you must get married. I said, I want to tell you, I draw on you. I know you must get married. I did not remain in my mother's house. You will not remain in my house. You must get married. You must give me grandchildren. I must carry your children. I must come to your house for Mugwa. Mama, please. You are stressing yourself. It's like combining moon and sun. Can I go and eat the food that you gave me that I can carry myself and go back to the city? I will not ask you not to eat. But I must tell you the truth. Mother, I have to eat.
So you mean to tell me that your mother called you to the village for nothing serious? My dear, please, that woman would never change. Can you believe she called me to come back to the village just for her to be singing about my single hood and all that? I just got fed. It's a lie. I Stop. am telling you. That woman is like a bone in my, in my throat. She's like a ton in my flesh. I can't even deal. Oh my goodness. So what was her reason for calling you then? My dear, my younger sister Zara is getting married. So that was a better opportunity for her to get at me. I mean, when will our mother stop? I don't know. Baby. Is it our fault that men are not coming to us? Is it our fault? You know, I think it's actually my fault. Please don't stop. No, seriously, I feel it's my fault. Lizzie, can you just stop? Marriage will come at its own time. We will get our desired husbands when its time is right. Please. You know, you're the only one who is always giving me this false hope. So why are you always doing this? Just tell me the truth. You know what? You, you, you're, you're useless. You can never get married. You, no man is going to find you, Woody. Lizzie. Yes, you were a notorious stripper. Everybody knew you. Yes. What about me? Was I a stripper? No. But I'm not yet married. Listen, girl. I know how you feel. I know the pressure you're going through. But I want you to know that I'm with you on this together. We'll fight through this. Our desired men will come. And we're going to get married, okay? You know, at this point, I am beginning to see you like some mommy G with a wig. What? With some lashes. You did Chris for you. Girl, come on! Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. Please do have a seat. Thank you once again. You are the boss of this company. I mean, you're the owner of this wonderful fan. You mean the little fan? It might be small, but I must say that I'm impressed with the things I... I saw outside. You know, from outside... to the reception... to the showroom... then... in here... I mean, everything about this fan is superb. Thank you. I must confess, I am flattered. You're welcome. <laughs> My name is Mike. Oh, Mr. Mike, you're welcome. Okay, Um, how may we be of service to you? Okay, good. Straight to business. I came into the town not quite long ago. I've been away for like 10 years. And I want to establish my business, but I want to start with this city first. Okay, so I got a six bedroom duplex. Okay. And I'm this kind of person that I, I am very classy. I love tastes and, and my taste is too high. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm a very good interior decorator. So your company was recommended to me. That's why I'm here. I see. Okay, I must confess, I think, not I think, you are at the right place. We have classy, you know, decorations and all that. My secretary will be showing you our charts. But first of all, I need to... But I would like to find out, um, are you married? No, come off it. That's not what I meant. What I was just trying to say was that, um, you know, when it comes to decorations, we always want to find out if our clients are married or not. Because at the end of the day, after all the decorations, the wife might not even like the, you know, the colors we used, the materials and all that. So we always want to find out from them because... <laughs> They have the final say. They do. I see. Okay, maybe you work in that capacity for me now. Excuse me.
Are you married yourself? No, I'm not. Then we are good to go. So for how long is it going to take you to get everything ready? I mean to fix the house. How long? Well, um, according to our chart, I think it's going to take approximately two weeks. Okay, okay. I'm going to make the transfer this evening. Well, that would be nice. Once payment is being made, I will commence work immediately. You know, I love to see young ladies like you being the CEOs and the directors of their own businesses. <laughs> I'd say. Thank you. I mean, I appreciate such compliments. Is it not your time you told me your name? Oh, my bad. My name is Elizabeth. Oh, Lizzie. I just told you Elizabeth. I prefer people calling me by my phone. And I prefer to call you Lizzie, and that is what I'll be calling you. Fine. I mean, it's still my name, right? <laughs> Fine. No problem. It's all right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah. Take care. I'll see you. Bye. But you need to calm down. Just calm down. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I think I need to snap out of this and then go back to work. Elizabeth. Oh, finally. I think it's high time I get, I mean, I get started with the work. What happened? Ah, oh, babe. You will not believe it. Well, let's just say I just got an alert and trust me, it is quite huge. Ha! This alert must cost a fortune. Tell me about it. Oh, please stop. It's not even about business. Mm. It's about the guy. You know, there's this cute guy who actually came into my office. Mm -hmm. And then um, he came to make inquiry about um, about his six-bedroom duplex. It wasn't just about the inquiries and all that. It's about the way he talks, his sense of humor, the way he addresses me, the fact that he's single, he's tall. Oh my goodness, God. Everything about him is just warming and amazing and exquisite and romantic. Woo! <laughs> Ah, see, learn. Girl, you know, all my years I have been with you, I haven't seen you spoken about a guy romantically. Like, girl, you are definitely in love. Do you know, at some point I thought we are, I felt like we were probably a lesbian, but you haven't actually touched me, so it's are you fine. fucking I know, girl, I see love with a sharp talk. Just luck! <laughs> you know what? You can call it love at first sight or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but I think I'm feeling something with this guy. And I think it's really deep, like deep down. Oh happy day, oh happy day, hey. oh happy day, <laughs> hey, when I, you...
Why is he calling me by this time? Ah, uh, yes, hello, sir. Hello, dear. I hope I'm not disturbing your sleep. Oh, no, no, no not at all. Not at all. Okay, have you seen the alert? Yes, I sent you an acknowledgement test. I mean, didn't you get it? Well, I'm sorry if you didn't get a text. Actually, I've seen the test, yeah. Oh, you did? Um, I'm not really calling you for the money. Uh, I'm actually calling you for something else. Oh, okay. W what is it? You know, since I left your office, I've been thinking about you. But uh, I've been wondering, how come you're not married yet? Or did you lie to me? I don't have any reason to lie to you. I mean, you are a young, beautiful, wonderful girl. You're beautiful, eloquent, I mean, industrious. I'm not married yet. Does it mean men have not seen the qualities in you? I wouldn't know. Okay, okay. Maybe there's a part of you I didn't know yet. It's like you're a nagging person. <laughs> not at all. I'm not a nag, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, no problem, if you say so, but I'll do my findings. I wish you had the luck. I like you a lot. I like you a whole lot. I've never stopped thinking about you since I left your office. Um, same here. Are you sure? Yes, as a matter of fact, that's why I'm still awake. I mean, usually I should be sleeping by this time, but I... I've just been thinking about you. Wow. For real? Ah, uh, wow, wow, wow. I think that's destiny playing here. Okay, I'm going to allow you sleep. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk more. Okay. Good night. Bye.
You know, I can't stay. I mean, I can't even stay there without you. Same here. I feel like staying with you all day long. Tell me, who are you? I've already told you. Yeah, I know you've told me, but I think there's something you didn't tell me. I don't get it. I don't know why I keep falling for you. You know, the more I try to withdraw myself from you, the more I feel. And I don't used to be, I mean, believe in love. But ever since I met you, I see myself drawing more closer to you. It's as if, you know, they call it love at first sight. So, I decided to inquire from you. What charm did you use on me? I'm not using any charm on you. Oh, it's just that. I believe we're meant to be together. Faith is bringing us together. I mean, I, I believe that we have a lot in common. Yeah, we have a lot in common. And they know, apart from my secondary school lover, I've never had anything to do with any woman. Really? Wow. In case of where is she, who is she? We lost contact after our second risk call. Then I traveled out. You know. And since then, you are the only woman I've had something so strong with. Tell me more about it. Because <laughs> it's becoming, more, I mean, it's getting more interesting. <laughs> okay. Come on. I'm done for the day. Done for the day? Yes. Why are you leaving your, your aunt in the office? No, my madam is not in the office. Is that not her car? It is. We had a client in the morning and she left with him. She has not returned yet. Oh, interesting. Ah. Yes. So did you call her before leaving? Yes, I did. Okay. She asked me to close for the day that she's not yet through. I can see. Oh. Oh. She's back. Oh. <laughs> All right. Bye, Aunt. Okay. okay, cool. Girl! What's up? Um, I'm sorry for wasting your whole day. No, you did not. As a matter of fact, I enjoyed my day. For real? All thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> Business comes first. But you know what they say? All work and no play makes Lizzie a dull girl. <laughs> so when am I getting my materials? Okay, your materials are supposed to be completed two weeks maximum. 
but I'll be sending some things within um, two days, like next tomorrow. All right then. Okay, so I have to get going. You have a nice day. And you too. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. the one asking you that exact question. Where are you coming from? Huh? Well, let's just say I... Besides, I spoke with my girl one hour ago okay. to lock up the office. Did you see her? Yeah, she just left. I, I met her um, at the staircase. Oh. She told me you went out. So tell me, who is that guy that just dropped you off? <laughs> Listen, he was just a guy. A that I'm... guy? Girl, you two like man! <laughs> <laughs> Can you just get into the car? Let's okay, go you know what? You're dropping me off at my place. So you can give me the juicy gist, okay? Oh, fine. Honestly, you really got the eyes of your father. Eh? Hi. No, I, you know I like good things now. I also love good things. Eh? So I just give me a high five. Aka. You have the eyes of your father. Hi, make an ear. Oh, ban you go go. Ne no mo mo ta maka. Eh? Oh, ban you go go. So she fits him now, mama. Kijwaya. Me ask you ne ni ano mo. Yeah, also now. Perfectly. Mama. Mom. My son, you're welcome. Alright, mama. Thank you. Adam. Mama. You are welcome. Thank you. So how are you? How about your mother? I hope she's fine. <laughs> yes, Mama. She's fine. She sends her greetings. Hey. Oh, yeah. Please, when you get home, send my greetings back to her. <laughs> I will. Uh, I learned she has you three girls like this. Is that true? Yes, Mama. Uh, my older sister. My immediate older sister. Uh -huh. So where are the others? My immediate elder sister is married. She lives in Jos with her husband. She has three kids. <laughs> that is wonderful. <laughs> and the oldest one, where is she? She's not married yet. Ah. <laughs> and you want to marry before her? Um, Mama, she said I'm free to marry you. Uh, yes, because... There is no secret yet. Uh, but I would have loved to see her marry first. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, child. It's okay. Huh? It's okay. Two girls will come. Thank you. You're welcome, eh? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Sure, you made proper inquiry about the family of this girl you're about to. What is there any problem? Why are you asking? 
my son. It's not like there is a problem, yet there is. Eh? It would be very, very good that you make proper inquiry, ask questions. Eh? Get to know about this family very well. It will not be good to just enter this family blindly without knowing anything about it. Because if it is a family with good name and good record, their first daughter should be able to marry before others. Mama, does it matter? Does it matter? Oh, go on, Ajihan, does it matter? It matters, my son. It matters. Let me tell you, for a family to keep a good name or have a good name, the symbol of a, a, fam a good family is that their daughters, especially the eldest one, should be able to marry first when her mates are married. Not staying at home when all her mates are in their husband's house with children or the younger ones getting married before her. It is not done. It is never a symbol of a good family. Mama, eh? Mama, it's okay. It's okay. I have to go. Don't worry. We're going to discuss about that later, please. There is nothing to discuss. Mama, Just note it that is not good record. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Both interior and exterior, everywhere is beautiful. Like, you, you like the decoration? I can't even express how I'm feeling about your job well done. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Yes, Thank I you. Do. Yes, I do. Everything is beautiful. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> you know what? What? This calls for a celebration. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am going to take you out after we finish celebrating, okay? okay? Maybe for a drink or whatever you want. Really? Wow, I am elated. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. I you love your work. Thank you. You did a very beautiful job. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> this is good. I, I, I didn't know you were this, this good. Thank you. Can we make a toast? <laughs> so, to... To job well done. More jobs, long life, peace, prosperity to our love. And to all the good things in life. <laughs> the love. Together forever. Together forever. Yes, baby. Ah. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, my God. What's, what's this? It's a diamond ring. Well, baby. Ever since I set my eyes on you, 
You've actually made me a complete new man. Everything about you appeases my soul. I want to make this joy last forever. Will you marry me? <laughs> Come off it. Uh, if he we're barely two weeks old and here you are proposing to me. Uh, yes, two weeks in the calendar, but in my mind, it's more than two decades. Yes. The compatibility, the soul alignment, the bond. Everything points to the fact that we are meant to be together. Please don't say no. Why are you so perfect? Why are you doing this to me? You, you, you're not just trying to make me fall in love with you. Now you're trying to sweep me off my feet. Were you expecting me to say yes or no? <laughs> Definitely say yes. I will marry you. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I'm complete now. You know, love happens. <laughs> yeah. Baby! Yeah, babe. What are you doing here? <laughs> I mean, we spoke moments ago and you never told me you were coming to my office. I know. Mm. I wanted it to be a surprise. Surprise? Yeah, it's lunchtime. So I'm here to take you for lunch and right from today onwards, I'm going to be your driver. I'll be the one taking you for lunch and bringing you back. So call me your driver. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm not. I'm serious. Oh my goodness, God. <laughs> okay, fine. I have some work, but I'm just going to pack it up and then we move. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay, one minute. <sighs> Babe? Mm -hmm. I, I am tired of staying alone in that big house. Yeah, I am thinking maybe we should go meet your people, see your mom. Once she approves our union, then you can come over to the house. From there, we plan our wedding. Mm. That was so easy for you to see. You know, I think you need to see my mom and my uncle. You need to make a proper introduction before you can talk about me moving in with you. You're right. I need to see your people too. Yeah. Um, where do you start from? Your mom. Okay. Would well, I call her to book what are a you? dinner with Wait. her? Wait! Stop what? it. Why are you always on a speed room? Please. We are eating after the food. Babe, there is you no are time. You eating and you're not even supposed to be talking. I know, but there is no time to Can waste time. Please? It's okay. Thank you. This is Lizzie. Uh, Elizabeth. Yeah. 
Elizabeth, you know, but I love to call her Lizzie. You know, the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. This is just my mom. Nice meeting you, ma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything I need in a woman. How well do you know her? Uh, I can say, yeah, 80%. <sighs> Quick. You know you have not been in this country for many years. You barely come back. Don't you think it's too early to jump into marriage? Look at the girl you brought home. She is beautiful. If she is as good as you claimed, she should have been in her husband's house by now. You said... She's doing a good business. She's very beautiful. But why is she still single? Okay, mom. Um, first of all, you know, I like beautiful things. She's my speck. Yes. And secondly, she said I'm the only man in her heart. Accepted. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, she said, I'm the only person, the only man she has fallen in love with. I love her so much. And that is what matters. Okay, Nina. If you say so, I'm only trying to help so that you will not dumble into the mess which other men outside there rejected to avoid regrets. In future. Mom, it's okay. You're not going to regret anything in future. Yes, I promise you that. Mike, are you sure? I am very sure. <laughs> very sure. Uh, we are good. God will help us. Amen. Oh, my. Amen. Oh, she's waiting. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh, so. <clears throat> God help me. God, please help me. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Okay. My daughter. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Make yourself comfortable. I have had everything I need to hear. And I accept you with my heart. You're welcome. <gasps> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so yeah. much, ma. Thank you. No! I, I promise I am not going to disappoint you. No problem. It's okay. Come sit on. Down. Sit down. Sit. Are you crying? No, 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 no. Wipe away your tears, please. <laughs> Wipe your tears, please. Oh, please. Don't, 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 it's don't, okay. don't cry. You know, Sit down. Uh, she's like that. She's very emotional. Uh-uh. Uh, go be at the Sally Sally now. Mm -hmm. Hey, one No. Let's go. It's okay. Wipe away your tears. Um, number one assignment. You 
go in there. Go to the kitchen. Prepare us our favorite meal. Watch. Offen sala. And the pandedia. Yeah. Hmm? Mandela. Everything you need is inside there. Okay. I'll it's do it. Thank you. Hey, Mama. You see, I told you. I told you, Mama, I'm a single boy. I'm a single black man. She can cook. Of course, more than this. My baby. Mama, don't stop. Thank you, ma. Mm. The food is as good as she looks. Thank you, mama. <laughs> I am really hey. flattered. What can you see being mad? Mm. 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 Huh? Mm. Huh? Mm. You must know anything yet. Okay. Wait till you eat her moi moi. Huh? Every day you'll be screaming. You needed to have been there. You needed to have seen the way she was looking at me. At that point, I felt like the girl should just open and swallow me up. I mean, you needed to have seen the way this woman was looking at me. Like some ancient, I mean, bloated stripper. <laughs> no, it wasn't even funny at all. It's as if she, she seen my picture or she had an idea that I, I was a stripper or something. Oh my goodness. I can relate. Just take it easy. I can relate. Are you sure you can? I can, but not until she came out and he told me, you know what, my daughter, come. I have accepted you with all my heart. Oh, thank God. It all ended in yeah. praise. Babes, are you kidding? I just had to go emotional about it. I couldn't even hold myself. Oh, thank God. So, what's up? I haven't seen this guy. What's up now? Why are you the hold the guy now? Why are you the hide them? Why is him now? Ah, wait a minute. You guys have not met. No. My bad. Okay, you know what? Once you come back from the village, I will make sure you guys meet. Wait, hold up right there. You're taking him to see your mom? Are you still asking me? Hello? Hey! Ah, please. Gege! Gege! Hey! hey. Your girl is a ah! girl. I'm so happy! Girl! Okay. No, I'm not Rejo. Excuse me. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. I beg you, I beg you. I beg you, I beg you. I beg you, I you. I beg you, I beg you. Where are you? Where is Yoga? He's not around, but I'm sure he's close. Uh uh, he knows I'll be traveling today. I need to collect my clothes because I have an important place to go to. So go and sort my clothes and bring it. Sir, it's a size a little patient. I don't have that patience, your exercise. I have somewhere to go to. But I can't sort your clothes. Wait, are you saying that my clothes is not ready? I did not say so, sir. Then if it is ready, then go and bring it out because there should be a tag on it. So it's, a, it's against our work ethic. It's my boss that is supposed to sort it out for him because he's the one that received it from me. What kind of rubbish is this now? Eh? What is my this? My clothes. My clothes. Oh, oh. Be fast about it, okay? And there is no... Get me a cellophane bag. No, 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 no,
What are you doing here? <laughs> See, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, oh, sorry, your plug. No. <laughs> Long time. Yeah. Is this you? Of course, it's me. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure you gave these people bribe. Hey, hey. No, no. How how could you do this? <laughs> Ah, do you know that I dreamt about you last night and I never knew I was going to meet you here? Hmm. See how God works. Me, I've searched for you. I've searched everywhere for you. On the Facebook, on the internet, on the on the Twitter, everywhere I've searched for you. I couldn't just find Wait, you. Wait, hold up. You. How can you tell me that you searched everywhere? I mean, do you even know my name on of Instagram? Of course. Or of course. If Nanya Mori. <laughs> How do you even think in this world that I will use such name as my handle? Come they on. are your real name. You should be using them. Okay, do you think I've not searched for you? I searched for you. Why are you not using Michael Kunkwa? <laughs> yes, now. Why are you not I using it? I have a it? business and I have a company. So I'm using my company name instead of my real name. And that is at Miko Venture. Uh, oh, please. Please don't shake this table. We are both in the same table. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, how have you been? I have been fine. <laughs> I've been are fine. You, are, you, are, you, are you not yet married? I'm not married. Are you? Uh, not actually. Yay! No, 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 no. Not too fast. Not too fast, okay? Because I'm almost married. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really? Yeah. Tell me about it. You know, I, I'll i be going to my wife's village very soon to see the to see her people, yes. Okay. I'll be going to the village to see her people very soon. And, um, I mean, you know, I, we've actually met with my mother and my mother approved our union. So we are getting married very soon. Wow, okay. <sighs> yeah. yeah, congratulations. But you told me you've been abroad. I mean, did you guys meet over there or here? No, not really. We met here in Nigeria. I actually met her in her office. You know, she's running one big interior decoration fame. Yes. I met her in her office. And she do the one to handle my new house. <laughs> Anything do you know her? No, no. No, no, stop it, stop. No, I don't. Um, what's her name? Her name is Lizzie. Lizzie? Yeah. I, I've never come across that name oh, before. For you? Whoa, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's that's really nice, you okay. know. Congratulations. Oh. My Oga is back. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay. Okay, I'll just wait for you here. Okay, let me, let me let me get something. Yes. Okay. Can you on the AC? So if he, if he, okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the girl is living the soft life. You know? I think he'll be fine. Yes, it's fine. Um, if he. You know what? I might not be able to take you home, okay? Because I'm rushing. I'm rushing to somewhere. It's okay. We're close to my house already. I mean, you've tried. I appreciate. Okay. Um, Ify, why is it that um your countenance changed when I made mention of your of my wife? Hmm? Yeah, your mood, your attitude, everything changed. Don't lie to me. Just tell me the truth. Do you know her? No! How would you say that if, if I knew her, I would have told you right away. But I don't know her. I've never met her before. I've never met her in my life. You know, my countenance changed because I thought you would still be single and searching. You know, after so many years and meeting you again, you know, I, I felt we are going to... But it is what it is, so it's fine. It is okay, I understand. Maybe we are not destined to be together. Exactly. Exactly, so I'll just... It's okay, I will give you a call. Now I have your number. Okay. Okay, All I have right. your contact, I will give you a call. Alright, take care. Okay, bye. Bye.
It was really nice meeting you. Yeah. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Straight. My Kokonko is the man Lizzie wants to get married to? Of all men? Am I. Am I. Wait. Am I, am I dreaming or something? So, Ma, I have actually found love in your daughter. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me come and make it last long and mm -hmm. forever. So I've decided to come and see you and her people mm -hmm. to actually introduce myself formally and uh, make my intention known. Mm -hmm. Omaka, you're welcome, my son. Thank you. No, Ren. Uh, please, uh, permit me to see her privately. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Uh, Eliza. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm Sorry, I'm coming. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> How well does that man out there know you? In front of his house. Elizabeth, you know what I am talking about. Mama, sincerely, I do not know what you're talking about. No, I don't. Were you in your immature mind thinking that I would never get married in this life of what? Elizabeth, I just asked you a simple question. And all you need to do is just to give me an answer, not to run your mind. Mama, please, I am already angry. Mama, I even when I'm already angry. I am begging you, Mama. Don't make me angry and get some other man. Elizabeth, listen and listen well. I am your mother. And there's no mother who will not be happy seeing her daughter getting married. Elizabeth, when a man loves me and he's really ready to get married, you should let him know everything about you. It is better for him to hear everything about you from yourself than hearing it from an outsider. That is why I'm asking you all this. Have you told him everything about yourself? Come no, on, please. If you do not mind, I mean, I left my friends in our place. Can I go back to your office? That is why I am asking you all this. Mama, you need to move this to pay African mentality from your head. Then you can go for your Can I go now? Oh. <sighs> 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 
I thought you said you want to meet me with your bestie. Um, yes, I was supposed to. Why is she not here? I don't know. I don't know why she's not here. I tried to reach out on the phone. She's not even picking my calls. Maybe she's not with her phone at the moment. What do you mean by maybe she's not with her phone at the moment? We had an arrangement for this meeting. She's supposed to be, I mean, she's ought to be here by now. You should stop bothering yourself about that. I believe she's not in any kind of danger. She'll be fine wherever she is. I just hope she's not in any kind of danger. I just hope. Ah, still saying the same thing. This is unlike her. All day long. I don't want to give you a message of school. Why? Yeah, I don't know how you react to it. React to it? Why? That's me, why? See, I don't, I don't know what your reaction will be. And I don't even want the class, uh, classmate to laugh at us. That's why I don't know why. <laughs> Mike, you're so funny. <laughs> so, what is the message all about? Mike. Love letter? Oh, don't tell me this is a love letter. Thank you. Mike! What's, what's, what's your reply? This is my reply. Later. Thank you. God, help me, help me, help me, help me, God.
here? What have I done? You stand here and ask me what you've done? Was I the master teacher that flogged you? Was I the one that asked him to flog you? So why were you laughing at me? I wasn't laughing, just that the whole class were laughing. And you joined him and laughed at me too? I'm sorry, just that you look awkward, they are laughing and I'm not laughing. I wasn't laughing at you. <laughs> Tell it from my heart. <laughs> I was not crying because of the cane. I was not crying because the class teacher flogged me. I stayed crying the moment I saw you laughing at me. You opened your mouth and laughed at me, Mike. After all we've done together, we've shared together, Mike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You broke my heart. I never saw it from that angle. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. Please, if you... I never knew it was going to hurt you that way. I was only laughing. I was only just to prove that I'm, I'm a strong boy, not that I, I wanted to laugh at you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please. If you. Because you yeah, smile for me. Please forgive me. Sorry. Yeah. Don't do that again. I cross my heart. I'm not doing things. You made me to share my expensive cry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I've been looking for you all day. I was here. Sorry, yeah. I promise I'll never laugh at you. Alright, see you. So when am I seeing you? Tomorrow is uh, Saturday and next is Sunday. So when, is, when exactly am I seeing you? Well, I'll come tomorrow. I'll come tomorrow. Time? Yeah. Uh, when I'm done with my house choice, I'll come. Hmm. If I wait till 1 p.m. and I don't see you, I'll come over. No, no, don't, don't come to my house. So <laughs> I'll come. See, if you come to my house, you know my, my mother don't like females visiting me. Oh, born again mother. Mm -hmm. Ah, be cool. Good job. I'll see you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. You are the first man I've ever known carnally. You took my virginity and I'm so happy you're the one. But my fear is that I don't know if you love me like I love you. Ife, you know I love you. You know I truly love you. And it's because of you my friends call me weekly. But I don't mind. For the love I have for you is strong. So, I'm afraid you're going to leave me someday. I'm losing you some days, my greatest fear on eggs. Ify, to be frank with you, you're the one that's going to leave me. No, Michael. You know I can't leave you. You know how much I love you. I can't leave you, Mike. <coughs> you know, I've, I've thought about this before. But I, just, I just decided not to take it to heart. Look at me, I'm still a young boy. I'm not ready for marriage till 10 years or maybe 15 years later. But look at you. You are ripe already. You are ready for marriage. By next year or next two years, suitors will start coming. And you can't withstand the pressure. And you know you can't. Mike, I can't. I can't withstand the pressure so long you are there for me. I promise never to take any proposal from any man. Mike, I love. I'm so happy to hear this from you. And I promise you, once I'm ready to get married and you are still single, I will always come for you. I'm surely going to marry you. I love you. And I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you too. I love you, smile. I'm so happy you're saying this now. <laughs> Don't leave me. No, I won't. I will never leave you. I promise. I love you. I promise you. <laughs> That's so funny. You were the bad girl. But you always get the good things of life. You were the first. 
You were the first to get a good and thriving business. You were also the first to get a, a car of your own. And now, you want to be the first to get married to a man. Not just any kind of man. My first love. No now. No now, Lizzie, check him now, check him now, check him now. If now you unko, if now you unko, I can't take it. No be take him. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I have to fail this relationship. This bestie. I'm sorry. I can't take it. I just can't take it. Babe, wait now, let me explain. You don't know what's happened to you. Make I explain now. Eh hey, hey. See, babe, as I was coming to see your prince charming, you know, I entered a cab. I answered one stupid, useless call for one of my friends. As I pick up the call, as I pick the call, finish, I drop him beside me. And I got distracted. I don't know what happened. I slept off. I can't even remember. And I came down from the cab. I forgot my phone in that cab. I kept calling that number since yesterday uh, afternoon till night. He now went off. Thank God when he was, I now called this morning. The driver now said, okay, that he, was, he saw my phone when he was brushing his car seat. That if I had, if he had picked another customer when he dropped it, then that phone would have been missing. Yes, now. I just received the phone this morning. Bele, my darling. Bele, bele. Oh, yeah, come. I'm in the salon. I'm waiting for you. You too like Wala. This is my bestie self. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for you. I love you. Bye. <laughs> so my dear, I think the best option is for me to go to my mother's office. What are you talking about? You want to tell him that you were once a notorious stripper? Stop it! Stop! Which can do this? Eh? You won't use your own hands to spoil your relationship. Why you go to the lacquer team now? Why? How? Uh, uh, People to be more drastic when he gets to find out from someone else. Babe, I know they like this kind of talk when you talk. This guy is a new fish. He doesn't know anywhere in this town. He doesn't know anybody. Who will tell him? Who will go tell him? It's just a small word, though. Person went on me to where if you just open mouth, wah! You want you, 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 now you, you want to go carry stick at that and say, I was once a stripper, guy. Okay, now why do you talk like this? This is a relationship, you just don't want to look for serious relationship, you don't see now. Now marriage, you know, you need to guide it with everything you've got. Girl, women, they get relationship, they enter marriage. Let this be a secret you hold till death. Hmm? You get what I mean? You understand me now? You get me? <laughs> Oh, goodness God. You see, that is why I talk about it. This is why I talk about you. Oh. I mean, what are besties for? What are when are you come to advise you too much? You know, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Ah, you too, see, I've been all the integrity tenses, but just calm down. Not so yeah, long. Calm down. Calm down. Small, small yeah. hey, that reminds me. We have an event this evening. Okay. Wouldn't it be a better idea for me to bring my man so you get to meet him? This evening? Yes. <gasps> I would have loved to see him. But just that this evening I have to go for a family meeting. My elder sister called me and told me that we have to discuss something. That if I'm not there, something will spoil. So I have to be there. But you can postpone it to tomorrow now. I suppose don't date there now. Now because I say you they come and I need to settle one of the things before I travel for saloon. You know now. I'm not tired for you. I bet when you come back. Oh, no worry, we'll go, we'll go see him on a different day. Yeah, wow, don't ever finish. Yeah, see this hair. I want me to buy this hair. It go fit you. All the hairs one I don't buy from you, don't I won't change your life. I beg you. I beg you. That one at 2000. You say? Wait, see. That's surely what it is. Not the only one that's now. I'm back, 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 back. Hello? Hello? Uh, who are you? I am a concerned good Samaritan who wants to save you from destruction. 
the very destruction you're running into freely. Do you go by any name? You can call me Egede Ege. Okay, Egede Ege, what destruction are you talking about? The very woman you took to your mom as a wife to be. And what about her? How could you? Huh? How could you dumble into a lady without proper investigation? Without questioning, you already proposed to her. Ijule Saju, Imaru Nobu. How? Do you really know who she is? Imonyobo. So what's your business in my marital life? I only want to save your innocent soul. Ebelekan Nemeli. To save you. You want to save my soul? Save my soul from what exactly? From the destruction you're running into willingly. Which destruction are you talking about? Lizzie. The woman you want to marry, goodbye. Hello? Hello? What is it? Ever since you walked into my office, you've just been sitting down and looking at me in a very horrible and scary way. What is it? What have I done? I hope there isn't anything about you that I'm not told. Anything about me like what? Is there anything you think I should hear? The question is, did you hear anything about me? If you did, then you should come up plain and stop bitching about the bush. Who is Agedege? Excuse me? I mean, where in the green world did you bring out that ancient name from? I don't understand. Where the, what the hell is Agedege? I don't know what that means. I mean, what type is that? Are you sure? Baby, I do not know anyone with that name. Are you sure? God. You know what? I think this is this is getting out of hand. If you heard something about me, why don't you just tell me so I could at least make an explanation or something? What is this? Why don't you tell me about it yourself? Now you're beginning to drive me crazy and I am not going to go berserk just because I am in love with you. If you want to tell me something, you go straight to the point. After him and tell him everything. No, no. Maybe it's not even what I'm thinking. Maybe it's something different. God, please. I do not want anything to happen to my relationship. I 
Thank you. Please. I don't want to lose my man. What, what, what am I supposed to do now? So this is what it's all about. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I knew it. I knew that this office is all about camouflage. I knew that something is wrong. I, I, I knew that, that, that something is up. How can you be this rich and beautiful yet? You remain unmarried. Huh? I don't understand, seriously. What is going on? I am talking about your prostitution business. Excuse me. Now, what right have you to walk into my office and call me a prostitute? I could not stand you. I am talking about this. <sighs> Maybe I explain about this. Oh. It's not the way. Oh, now she wants to explain. I am not listening to your explanations. No, baby. Hey, hey, don't. Don't. Baby, baby, please wait. Baby, wait. Let me explain to you. Uh. Wait. <laughs> wait. Uh. She'll be traveling. Oh, she today. My my dad. I actually forgot. Um, let me just go home. Switch off. How come I never switch off? I wouldn't know. Okay, I'll just keep calling her, but please, in case she returns, just let her know that I was I'm nice. Continue what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> see ahead like 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 go through. And I want to marry Mike. Come on, Mary, let me see. Where is that customer say uh, wig? Let me see. We are not finished the week.
to you. Oh God, what is all this? But the budgets are ready. I told him you will call him as soon as you go through the budget. Just drop it and go, please. Ma, please. Are you dead? I said drop it and get the hell out of my office right now! I'm sorry. Get out! You chocolate midget. Please. Drinking yourself to stupor will not solve the problem. What is it? Tell me, what is the problem? Thank God I ran into you. You know, I've been looking for a shoulder to lean on. You know, looking for someone to talk to. I'm here. But I don't just know anyone in this town. I'm here. You can talk to me. What yeah. is it? You know the girl I told you I want to marry? Yeah, that girl. Yeah. What happened? I'm going to see her people. She has actually seen my people too. And I promise her people that I've been coming to collect the marriage list. I just want to do everything fast. Okay. Yeah. Little did I know that I'm... I'm actually running into my early grave. You are getting me confused. What's up? A certain number called me to tell me some stuff. At first, I didn't want to take it serious, but... At long run, the person sent me some pictures. Pictures? Yes. What pictures? <laughs> uh, Can I see it? Okay. This is the lady I want to spend the rest of my life with. <gasps> No, stop! Stop it! No! My dear, that's how I see it. No, 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 no. It's a no from me. I mean, how do you want to introduce her to your mom? A stripper? You want to make us your wife? Hell to the no! Hell no! Stop! Come on! The worst part of it is that I'm, I'm deeply in love with this girl. I'm, 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 I'm loving her so much. I, I, right now, I'm hot. I'm heartbroken. What are you? I don't even know what to what do. What are you even talking about? Love? This girl is clearly a whore. I mean, numerous men have slept with her. They have seen her nakedness. They have milked. They have milked the juice out of her. You cannot marry her, okay? You cannot afford to marry her. You cannot afford to make her your, wi your wife. You know, love at first sight. What kind of stupid love is that? <laughs> I mean, there are so many beautiful women out there. So many beautiful women out there. You want to make this whore your wife?
It's fine, okay? Drink up. Is she the one calling? She has been calling, but I... I didn't just want to pick her calls. Why is she calling? I mean... Maybe, maybe to explain, but I wonder what she wants to talk about. Explain what? That she's a whore and she has been milked of her juice. You need a decent woman. A woman befitting for a king. Not a loose woman. A dog. Okay? Pick up your call. Pick up your call, please. Let me... Oh my goodness. I'm begging you in the name of God, just pick up. Who is calling you? No, it's nobody. Is that your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Come on, I'm too big for that. I mean, at my age, I shouldn't be doing a boyfriend, nah. Okay, your fiancé, right? Fiancé? Yeah. <laughs> well, I do not have a man in my life right now, okay, if that's what you want to hear. And besides, it's, it's not even a guy, so don't worry about it. So can I say the name of the person that just called you? Bestie, bestie. Come on, don't do your face like that. Best, my bestie is a girl. Okay, not a guy. I'm not dating anyone right now. Okay, so you deserve someone better in your life, not some whore. Okay? Okay? Not even you, no, not, not you, my best friend. You need to pick up your call at this point of my life because I'm losing it. Someone needs to talk to me for goodness sake. Pick up your call, pick up. Oh my God, what's going on? No, no, can you, can you just see yourself? I should calm down. For how, for how long now? The last time I was here, you told me your madam has seen the budget. Why hasn't she gotten back to me yet? When are you coming to my house to take the measurements? I start my work already. But this time around, you blocked What's going on? Sir, my madam is not in the office today. What happens to her phone? What happens to her phone? Please, let me call her. jobs with so many people in this city. At least someone recommended us to you. Please, calm down, sir. You're still telling me to calm down. See, all I need from you 
is to get my work done. Get my work done and that's it. Sir, the truth is, my madam is going through a whole lot of emotional stress this period. She's going to do your work. Trust me, you just need to exercise a little more patience. She won't eat your money. That's her personal business. All I need from you is to get my work done. Whatever it is, don't let it take the better part of you. Why are you here? The new client is disturbing you, right? Yes, ma'am. He left the office very angry this afternoon. I tried calming him down, but he wouldn't listen to me. Fine then, just tell him to send you his account number for refund. Ah, I need some serenity, seriously. Why, ma? Because I am not in a good, I mean, I'm not in a, in the frame of mind to do any work for anyone. Don't you understand it? Ma, please. Your reputation is at stake here. Ma, someone suggested us to him. If you fail to deliver, you're not only disappointing him, you're also disappointing the person who referred us to him. Please, whatever it is, don't let it affect your business. I beg you. That's I feel like... I'm sorry about that. I feel like my head, uh... I feel my head is jamming. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm about losing it. I'm sorry about that, man. Do you know what? Yes. Call him on the phone, tell him we're coming over to his house to take measurements. Okay. While I go up and fresh now. Okay. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. to go. I mean, I, I need to get you home, okay? I just want to drink away my sorrows. Babe, come on. Drinking will not help you. Your sorrow go away. Listen, let me just take you home. No, come okay? on. Just sit, sit down first, okay? Okay. Um. Bah! Bye it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. All right? I'll fix it. You want to pay for me? I'll do just anything for you. It's nothing. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let me go fix it, okay? Just please stop drinking, okay? Okay. Yes, I'm fine. I'm very good. Okay, you can actually go from here. Uh, I'll be fine. No, I, go where? No, I I, I want to spend the night here. I mean, I want to make sure you're really good. But if you insist on spending the night here, it's okay by me. But I assure you, I'm I'm fine already. I insist. I insist. Okay. I'll, 
I'll just um cool, cool. Yes, yeah, fine. Cool. I'll just <laughs> um I don't know. I'll just I'll just not I'll 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 be fine. No, 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 I'll just go in, okay? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. What? 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 I, I, don't you feel anything for me? I mean, we used to be really close in the past. You should have some kind of a, a little feelings for me. What, what is? What is? What is this? What is wrong with you? Eh? I told you that I'm emotionally wrecked. Someone I loved so much broke my heart. And all you could do is to try to arouse the sexual feelings in me. Why are you doing this? Eh? Who are you? What, what, is, what is it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I thought we still have that, um, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I won't please, do it. Please, please, please. Thank you so much for yesterday. You don't have to thank me. I mean, I had to do what I had to do. I mean, you're happy, so you're good. It's fine. Yeah, and also thank you for your caring. Mm. I always care. I care for you. All right, I'll, I'll see you around. Okay. Have a nice day. She almost caught me. What has she come to do? I'm sure Mike still loves her. I am not going to relent till I take back what rightfully belongs to me. Idiot. Listen to me, babe. You have every right to be angry. 
You have every right to be mad at me, yes. But come on, I have the right to express you, you know. Let me explain myself. The fact that you're not even giving me a listening ear is, is killing me. Please. Please. I'm listening. Baby. I was never a whore. Neither was I a prostitute. I was just a stripper. Come on, don't even give me that look. I know it's not something I should be proud of. I wish I can just take back the hands of time and wipe out that part of the story from my life, but it wasn't intentional. I only got into that business because of peer pressure. Maybe I was making a whole lot of money because I was everyone's favorite. Elizabeth, I'm so ashamed of you. I am so, so ashamed of you. Why are you bent on dragging the name of this family to the mud? Why? Mama, I do not understand what you mean by me dragging the name of this family in the mud. What have I done? All I did was what every other person would do. Eh? People do what makes them happy and what gives them money. Here! Elizabeth. That's a one gege. Elizabeth. Mama. By dressing like this. Elizabeth, it makes you happy. Elizabeth, how can a shower walk make you happy? Eh? How can going naked before men make you happy, Elizabeth? Mama, I think it is high time you started differentiating, stripping from a shower walk, Mama. A shower is a woman, a lunatic. A dirty thing that stands on the board for them to be priced. Mama, I do stripping. Mama, it is stripping. On my logo, on my class, on my integrity, on my dignity. Mama, a stripper is someone that rolls on the pole. It will pay, it will pay, it will cheat. Mama, it just roll. You roll on it and roll yourself. Mama, that what? If I let me work what is the difference? Mama, it will pay, it will cheat, Mama. I, 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 I am not understanding you one bit. What is wrong with me being a stripper? Every other mother in this village would have been happy that I came back. Come with me, see you, brother. But no, you don't. You're not happy with me. Mama, what is wrong with me? Just opening and closing. Just here, What is wrong with it, Mama? What is wrong with it? Nothing is wrong with Mama, see, I am going to leave this place and go back abroad, though. Because this is what every other person does in our blood, and they make money for it. Mama, in Jahe 10 hours, in other go 10 hours. It is not easy to Jahe Uchie. Understand it. Elizabeth, in Jahe Uchie, in Jahe Uchie, that is what you do for a living. And you are proud of it. Mama, I am proud of it. Eh? I am. Elizabeth, this is not abroad. This is Africa. Africa culture, France at it. Hey. A woman covers her body. Elizabeth, Mama, a woman's body is her dignity. Elizabeth, tell me, which African man would want to marry a girl that opens her body for any man that passes by? Oh, God. Tell me, Jesus Elizabeth. Wept. If I me, go call me Elizabeth. Oh, Mama. Mama, this is the problem I have with you timid women. This is African mentality. It is so timid, Mama. What is which woman? Which man will marry a woman? Mama, you that have been covering your body from your neck to your toe. What did your late husband leave for you, Mama? Mama, he only left for you trees, green leaves. Look at this all the way. He got something that kills. Mama, how can a man that loves you leave a tree that has a pointed arrow by the side? Tell me, Mama. Tell me who does that. Mama, look at the house. Look, 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 look at the kind of house you're living. A retarded sink. Look at the door. Shredded. Useless. Mama, is this what you want for yourself? Mama, let me tell you something. Where we strip, there's what they call air condition. Maybe it is these leaves, this fresh air being a This fresh air is making you think that you are living in a paradise. Mama, you're living in a junk. You are living in a junk, Mama. Where we strip, the, the, there's what they call air condition. When you open it, the air condition blows the planet and, oh. and, and, it, and it walks away. You, you roll on it. What is all this safe? Mama, go and fix your life. Go and fix yourself. Fix your mentality. It is so awkward. It's so local. Elizabeth. Ah. If I like it, maybe go. Mama, please. I am so ashamed of you, Elizabeth. It is better you go that abroad and stay there. Let me know I am not seeing you. 
and I'm not hearing it. Hey. Yes, let me know I have lost you completely. No problem, ma. So that I will count you out of my surviving children. No problem, ma. It is better. I will because go. I don't want that your fleeting money, that your fleeting money to enter this house. I don't want to eat a penny from it. Hmm. I don't need it. Hey. Fear. Mama, after the fear, you come and pack it. Because you see me, I will keep sleeping. Have you seen what your sister is doing? Have you seen what your sister is doing? I will keep sleeping for Jesus. Finally, no be you be this. Sure you be stripper. You the one now for club, be shake out. Now you don't call my the more. I be. Mama, my brother beg. Now entertain me, daddy. Entertainment, where they make my dick, they stand up, they fall down. See, eh? I no one hurt you. Now collect, I just want collect. You know, understand? What do you go do for me now? Just open and make I enter. Small, small. I no one force you. You know, understand? All this thing for me. Just open now for me. Make I just enter. I no one force you. Open now. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Here is your lab result. Okay. I I don't understand the book. Um, well, um, you know, you just have to thank God that you are alive. Okay. And also thank God that none of the boys is HIV positive. Um, so uh just apart from the minor infections, which will be taken care of with the medication that will be ministered to you, okay? Uh, you don't need to keep crying. Thank you so much, Doctor. Ah, oh, yeah. You know, uh, I'm a doctor and I attract patients. Like businessmen attract customers. Lawyers attract people who need legal help. So, as you can see, the kind of job you do determines the kind of people you attract into your life. Okay? So, have a nice day. I regret living such life. That is not a part of my story that I should be proud of. But you know what they say, the deed has already been done. And if wishes were horses, then beggars were right. Why didn't you tell me this? For now. If even when I was pointing out that this might be the reason men are running from you. Baby, I am sorry. I've always wanted to tell you about it. But a second thought I hid it away from you because I couldn't stand losing you. I couldn't stand you walking away from my life just like that. Piri, the truth is that you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Ever. I'm sorry. Yes. Now let me ask you something. Will you advise your brother to marry a stripper? Whether former or current. Really? Please. At least I'll be able to cope in a happy woman that I've explained and told you everything. Baby, I just wanted you to know that I I no longer stay in that street. I've left that street a long time ago. And I'm not planning on going back there. She came to the house immediately you left. You must have seen her driving in. Huh? Hmm. Yes, I saw someone driving in. Was she the one? 
So yes, what did she, she's the one. What did she come to do? She came to explain. Explain what exactly? That numerous men have seen her nakedness? No, what exactly, exactly did she come to say? Huh? See, uh, I, 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 I am confused right now. I, I, I can't just think straight. I, I don't just want to make mistakes. Listen, babe. There is nothing to think about. I mean, how would you want to present such a woman who has been a stripper all her life to your family, your mother especially? How do you want to even introduce her to, to your mother? She was. No longer. Once a soldier, always a soldier. I love her so much. You know, we all have past. Yeah. So? Yeah, we have our past. But some pasts are intolerable. Some are grievous. There are some pasts that you that are not worth ignoring. Open your eyes. Listen. I don't want you to feel like I don't want you to be with her or I'm saying all this to spoil her. No, far from it. Listen, yes, 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 yes. I still love you. I care about you. I miss us. But you don't need her. Have you looked at yourself? Itikamukenate. Ibuodogu. So, you know, you need people like us. We go to one now. Full package. In a piaka. In a pita something. You get what I mean? You comprehend, huh? I know you understand. So, my love, you are a king. You're meant to eat foods for the kings and not for the pigs. Okay? I know you get it. I know you do. Mm. Baby? Yeah, I... Where is your home? So I will go and drop you off. I thought you were taking me to your house. Taking you to my house? You still want to sleep in my house again this night? Yes, I mean, I just want to keep you company. Come on now, I, we dated in the past. You were, I was your girlfriend, so it's not like it's a new thing. And I really want to spend some time with you. You shouldn't be talking about this now. You know exactly what I'm passing through. You shouldn't be saying this. Okay, fine. My house is just by that side. You just drop me off. It's okay. go back to her. <laughs> no way, if you cannot let that happen. You cannot let that happen! I am not giving up. Neither am I giving in. I will do whatever it takes to tear them apart.
What is all this now? Just, just, just let me be. Stop calling me. Stop, 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 stop calling me. Ah, you've been calling me since I'm not picking now. You stop calling. What is all this? Can you be asking me when I'm coming to the village when my relationship is not even stable? Stop calling me. Why did you just leave me alone, please? Mama, she has switched off her phone. What are you doing? What are you doing? I thought you said you were going to send her a text message today. Yes, Mama. And I sent her a text in the afternoon. She replied that she's fine, that she will call me back later. And now she wouldn't pick her calls. Instead, she switched her phone off. That has confirmed my fears. Mama. That has confirmed my fears. What are you talking about? That man must have done it. Ah, ah, Mama. Ah, Mama, you know the year now. How would you say such a thing? Tell me. If the man has not done that, why would she be behaving like this? Hmm? Why? Maybe the man has found out the kind of job she was doing before. Hmm? Maybe people must have told him how she, uh, she used to be naked dancing before men. Mama, Mama you have a point here. Oh. Hey. Ooh. She would have told him earlier. I told my daughter. I told my daughter to open up to this man. Let him not find it out from others. Let it be that she was the one that told him everything. But you know your sister now. She didn't listen to me. People are wicked. People cannot be to see others happy. They must have told the man what she was doing. The shameful work she was doing before. Once it's tired, she will not calm down. She will not listen. I'm not going to run out. Oh, look at. I'm not going to be able to do that. Look at her. Eh? If you want to go. Hey. Oh, why was this that this thing? Eh? We were telling her then to stop, but she refused. Oh, she look at her. She said that the cake and dump. Hmm? Once on her school. Hey. After training her in school, she came and be using the, 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 the school. I sent her to against me. Mama, not only you. No, <laughs> one. Okay. okay, so we chose this color for the dining. Okay. Yes, this for the parlor. Okay. And this one for the rooms. This, this, oh, that's on the PS one or two, okay? Yes. Oh, two one or three. Okay, you know what? Just send this to AGK and let him come and speak with you, okay? Okay. 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 I need it to be done immediately. Like. Okay, my okay. I have never seen this kind of bestie. Yeah. Jealousy, envy, all over her mind. Even Jesus Christ, when he was about to be crucified, he was meant to carry his cross all alone. But a good man by name, Simon of Syria, came along and helped him in carrying the cross, which actually relieved him some kind of stress. It's your cross. 
But you know what? I am going to help you carry the cross. Because the love I have for you is beyond human expectation. I will still marry you. Yes. I will. And I am going to love you. And we will start all over again. And I will never stop loving you. To the rest of the world. Stop. Essence of my existence, yeah. uh, love is a beautiful thing. Love is the greatest gift of nature. Love is the strongest force on earth. I love you, and I will always love you. I bless the day you crossed my path. The day you came into my life it was the day light came into my life. Gentle touch. Your kiss and your smiles. They appeal my soul and spirit. And I am not just going to give you my body. I have promised myself to spend the rest of my life with you. 
together forever. Together forever. Hello, you, you always know the right time to call. Guess what? I have a whole lot of gist for you. <laughs> I know, I know you like a book or too much. Meanwhile, I'm going to have lunch in my favorite restaurant. Will you be joining me there? <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. You do not want to know. Oh man, what's up? You know, I already made up my mind that I was going to call him. Mm-hmm. And I don't even care if he comes back or not. Of course, you shouldn't have called him anyways. You know what? Boom! He walked into my office. I am ready to carry your cross with you. Gosh, I felt like... <sighs> it was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Yes, I am telling you. You know, we did it everywhere. In the bedroom, it was, uh, your girl was slimy, drippy. It was, it was, it was a fantasy. It was as if I was in the third heaven. It was as if I was in the wonderland. You know, I don't even know how to start this. Girl, stop, stop it! Oh stop it! God. Already, stop it! I am telling you. Stop! And you know but why what? didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? You would have. So if I didn't call you, you wouldn't have given me this gist. Why are you talking like that? I called your number when I was leaving the house, and it was switched off. That reminds me, our love is now stronger. I am telling you, I don't think at this point of our lives that any whatever you call her or his name is going to separate us. Hmm. Hmm. Thank God. Uh, girl, I am happy for you. Um, oh, I am so happy. I'm super happy for you. Thank you. You see, that fasting and praise I told you about. I did 21 days. You know, now I, I did 21 times. days fasting. Two times. 21 wait, days wait, fasting. Wait, I just broke my fast this morning ah. because I knew he was going to come. You need to eat for Jesus. I need to I eat for Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Babe, uh, please, I just want to use the opportunity to say thank you so much for being such an amazing friend. You know, if you were to be free to be orange, apple, pineapple, oh, whatever, strawberry, what am I asking for? You're amazing. I know. Thank you so much. You know, I think you should get it like double of the plate. No, no, no. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just finish up this one. Girl, I am so happy. No, I you. am in love. I know. I glow, right? Oh. Um, I glow. Wow. <laughs> the problem now is that he's not been picking my calls. I've tried to call him several, but all to no avail. Very simple. He doesn't need any distraction from you. He knows you're a distraction to his love life. <laughs> Listen, Mike is mine. I would do anything to ruin that marriage. If Mike ends up getting married to that lady, 
then that means everything we've ever worked for, all our efforts are in vain. And I will not let that happen. Babe, the ball is in your court to play now. That is why I'm here. Put your sister out now. What's up? What exactly do you want? Not be you again. Not be you the run the town. Now who know more you go the fuck up now? Again, again, I want to ruin that marriage. Anything that will make Mike leave Lizzie permanently, I will do it. Yes. Glaziano formula. It will cost you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is the essence of my existence. I would do just anything. I would pay anything to get him. I would draw the plan, make out the budget, and get back to you. And you know, this has been her dream. And you know, this has been a dream. This girl is wicked. She's a green snake in the green grass. Oh, be fell in your nose. She's a green snake in the green grass. Our English, we have uh, presented Kula to you. Yeah. Uh, Kula, and we have also accepted the drink, which we gladly accepted. Of course. So there's no need wasting uh, for that time. Yeah, well, we'll <laughs> no need to be like what is going on the fantasy. Oh, good man. Uh, Odo, Mwano. I see. Okay, but I see. Okay, but I see. Okay, but I see. Now, this is the list, uh, comprehensive list, in fact, of uh, all the requirements for okay. the marital rights. So. Uh, Go through the list and then. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Wow. I have seen it. But I hope I can actually do the wine carrying and traditional marriage at the same time. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you are permitted. And I can also uh, bring the equivalent money for the. Requirements. Uh, Omaka. 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 No problem. I'll get back to my wife. Okay. And your daughter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need your license. <laughs> Both of you should come and serve them the food we prepared for them. Mama, hmm? it's ready. Uh, they're ready done. On the book one It doesn't take time. No, no, no. That was so fast. Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, oh, Mama, we are coming, eh? Let me just say this. Your joy knows no bounds. Mba, eh, who would it be? Eh? Who would it be that will not be happy? Sister, you come come let's, go. let's go, Mama. Come on, let's go. Ah, all this plenty hey. talks today. I'm looking at Tori Stein. We have a traditional marriage. Then the next day we we'll do our wet wedding. What do you think? Baby, that's not even enough. I mean, I need enough time to invite our guests. Okay, first week of next month, I think it will be better. That's mean that means in four weeks' time. What do you think? Perfect. It's perfect for me. Okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, 
Who is that? Never mind. Is somebody that's <laughs> up? Whatever. Okay, my ex. You know, she has been playing some funny games recently. I don't know what she's up to. She wants to come back? I for her mind. <laughs> I don't know. Hello dear. Hi, my see. How are you? <laughs> no, my dear, I am really, really sorry. Yes, I'm with him. We went to the village. No, we only went to collect um, you know, our marriage list. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Come on. He just came to my house. I was like, baby, you know what? We just have to go today since my mother has been disturbing. Okay, darling. I'll let you know once more, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye, bestie. <sighs> bestie. That's my bestie, baby. Your bestie? Yeah, my bestie. Mm, every girl's. Every girl now do have a bestie. What are you trying to say? That's okay. It's okay. Bestie all the way. Bestie, bestie all bestie. the way. You just trying to say that that's the in, that's the in thing or the training bestie, thing right bestie, now, right? Bestie all the Please. way. My bestie is a. I mean, she's one in the middle. Don't even join her. Okay, so I guess we should be close by now. Stop forcing love. Love comes, love goes, and you know this has been her dream. And you know, true love is her dream. Oh, bestie, <sighs> I'm so sorry for keeping you guys waiting. <sighs> Come off it. We should really want to apologize to you. I mean, look at all the stress and all the shit you had to go through just oh. to come meet up with us. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. We're no. besties. <laughs> you don't have to. Come on. Oh, thanks for understanding. It's okay. So tell me, you guys went to your parents' place. What's up? What's the, what's the latest? You never changed. You just got here and you want to hear okay, all the things. Fine. I know you want to hear them, yes. so I'm going to let them out. Okay. He's supposed to come pick me up and then we're supposed to go meet his mother so we can have a get together and then pick a particular date for the wedding. Hey, that means in less than a month, you will pick a date? Ah, uh, something like that. Oh. I cannot wait! <laughs> I am so happy! I know. Oh. That reminds me. You know, since you're here, okay. why don't I call my fiancé and then you guys can be able to meet up? Don't you think it's a good idea? <laughs> Perfect idea! Right. I mean, it's always good for us to meet. I haven't met him before, right? Yes, you need to meet. <laughs> I just bring his clothes here. Okay. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Okay, babe. Um, you know, my bestie is actually here in my office. And I don't know if you're close, so you guys can actually meet up. Oh, yeah. Really? Fantastic. That's a bad idea. Okay, we're we'll waiting for you. Yes. Okay, baby. Oh, please. I love you too. See, I caught the phone. Bye. <laughs> you guys are so in love. love okay, fine. He said it's close, so you'll be here. Very oh, soon. he'll be here very soon. Wow, wow. What do I offer you? <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen this kind of bestie. Oh, jealousy. Hello? What? What? No, 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 no. Damn. I am coming there right away. What nonsense. I am coming there right now. What? Can, can you imagine? What is it? Some levy collectors are in my shop. They are packing my things, saying that I didn't pay for a levy, a levy which I know that I paid for. A levy I paid for? No, now. For all I know, these people might, might be hoodlums. They want to pick, pack my stuff, uh, you know, and, and take them. So you, I have to go, right? Do you really need to I, I will catch up with you. Okay, fine. Right. Just, okay? just be careful. Oh my god, and I already called my fiance. What am I supposed to do? I just hope she will find her. Oh. 
baby. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Call came in after you were called. Um, I'm sorry for keeping you guys waiting. It's okay. So, where is she? Um, she got a call at um, some guys wanted to vandalize her properties at a shop, so she rushed out. You know, baby, I feel we should actually go and meet her up. I know how things are going on with her day. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Okay, come on. Let's go. Why is your madam? Uh, my madam, uh, she just left now. I'm surprised you know me to do it. Ah. Uh, babe, what's up? You did your shopping. Uh Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Just take your time. There will always be another time. Yes. All right. Okay. So now she's far. Yes, um, she's not close, but, you know, that's an issue she had the last time with the local government people. She wants to sort it out, so we'll come back soon. Okay. Let's go. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Yeah, I trust you. That's why I employed you. That girl, her agent of darkness. Wish, wish. No sense. Every time you be monitoring me, what is it? What is it? You thought she's my friend. See your teeth like caterpillar. No go mind the business that pays you. Wish, wish. Good afternoon, Ma. Please sit. Come on, sit down. Mom, what is it? How long do you intend to hide this from me? How long, Mike? Mom, hide what? That the girl you want to marry is a prostitute. A club stripper. Who told you that? Who? Can you deny it? Can you deny it? Mom, mom, answer my question. Who told you that? Now, listen to me. You daughter of Jezebel. This is a Christian home. Light and darkness have nothing in common. If you think after living a wayward life and worthless life, you will come into my home. <laughs> Ne, oh gosh, it's a lie. Mom, you don't have to talk to my wife in that manner. You must be a joker. Who is your wife? Mom, she's. Mom, mom, she's my wife. Let her go. Mom, she is not your she wife. wife. She is hey. not your wife. Hey. Never mind her. What's now? She's the what? She's the what's now? She did. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What? Come on. What is it? I am sorry for the embarrassment. You know what? Sorry. Just take me back home, please. Babe. What? Babe, come. Let's go in and trash it out. Okay? Let's end this once and for all. Are you taking me back home or you want me to go get a taxi for myself? Are you? Babe. I cannot go back in there. It's too hard for me. Did you see what just happened? I can't go back Baby, in there, it's please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just... Mom, mommy has no right whatsoever to talk to her in that manner. It's not right. She deserves an apology. Yes. Look at you talking. Your mother should go and apologize to that her 
harlot! Mom, she's, she's not a harlot. Point of correction. Look at you. She can't even deny it. She can't even deny it! Wait. Let me show you. Look. This is the proof! Look at these pictures! Mom, I've seen these pictures before. Huh? Yes. I've seen them. Mom, she was a club stripper. She was a club stripper, uh -huh. but not anymore. She has stopped. Hey! Because she stopped yesterday. That makes her fit to be your Mom, wife. She didn't Is just, that what you're telling me? She didn't just stop yesterday. Uh -huh. Yes, she didn't just stop yesterday. She has long stopped. Even if she stopped 10 years ago. A harlot is a harlot. She can never change. No! You will never marry that girl. I mean, you know what? No one will stop me huh? from marrying the woman I love. Yes. I love her and I love her very much. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, ma'am. Then get ready to stop bearing this family's name. <laughs> and I, your mother, will strip you of all your inheritance. You can never get one from me. Why are you like this? My father's name is my father's name. Hi. Mom, she deserves an apology. Come back here! My girl! My girl! This girl has given my son something to eat. No, this is not ordinary. This is not ordinary. What will I do? Babe, stop crying. Come on. It's okay. You'll be fine. Davey, I do not want to cause a problem between you and your mother. Babe, you're not going to cause any problem for us. Trust me, we are going to resolve it as usual. Baby, don't say that. Be you're just trying to patronize me and make me feel better. Be Who tells you that she's going to give in her consent to our marriage? She's What's the possibility? She must. Okay? As long as I'm not going to give her listening ears, she will succumb to my wishes. Trust me. Baby, I am sorry for... You, you, you don't have to be sorry so... for anything. I'm more concerned about who gave her the information to her. And I know it's still the same again. Baby, I Did you know? The same picture she sent to me was the same picture she sent to my mother. Who could be doing this to me? Who the hell is a Kedeke? How does she form? What does she want from me? It's okay, babe. It's okay. <laughs> she said all that. Come on, that is sad now. It's so sad. She even said worse. Ah uh ah. -uh. I know now. This is this is terrible. It is terrible. But hold on. Who would have told him all this? I don't know. You know, it's the same question Mike and I have been asking ourselves. But I am beginning to agree with Mike, you know. Because I think it is the same Ekedeke. I mean, it's the same pictures that he or she sent to my fiancé that was sent to my mother, you know. What the hell is this a gedeg? My friend, I don't know what the person wants from me. I don't know what he or she stands to gain from destroying my relationship. My sister, I'm so sorry about all this. I'm sorry for the disappointment. Thank God, oh. Thank God, my did not succumb to his mother. But do you think my mother will be able to cajole him to, into leaving you? 
Do you think so? I don't really know for now. Huh? But we just got into an agreement that everything about the marriage has to be on hold. Oh, until the mother has been convinced otherwise. But we have to thank God. We have to thank God for everything. I know that Mike will stand by you. I know within me, he will stand by you. Thank you so much. I want to use this medium to really thank you for always being there for me. Come on, stop it. Stop it. What our best is for. I got you. And when I say I got you, 100%. Hmm? It's okay. Thank you. What if he finally convinces his mother about marrying Lizzie? Hmm. I have gone too far to back down. And I have invested too much to lose out. I can never lose. I can never relent. Mike is mine. And no one takes him away from me. No one. Michael, my son, if the reason you return back to pass the night here is to convince me about that girl, nah, it will not work. It's mission impossible. I got work. Mom, I am back here just for one thing. I need to ask you a question. And if I should get an answer, then. It's going to go a long way for me. What? Okay. Mom? Who told you about Lizzie's past life? Uh-uh. Is it not everywhere? Everybody knows she's a harlot. Mom, Mom please. Please, do not refer to my wife also? as a harlot. Please. Eh? I need to know who told you about her. A lot of people know her. Mm. Mom, are you trying to tell me that you don't know who told you? Mom, I need to know who told you in particular. Or are you trying to tell me that a lot of people came and told you about her? You see, who told me about her is not necessary here. Mom is very, very necessary. I need to know. Uh -huh. Yes. I will not tell you. Mom. Yes. Mom, I need to know who told you. I will not tell you. I said I will not tell you. Mom. 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 Hello? I'm in your salon at the moment. Okay. Okay. Is she coming back? That's what she said. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'll sit down and wait for her. Thank you very much. Hi, it's Rob. Mom, mom, please, you have to listen to me. Okay? Lizzie is no longer a club stripper. She has stopped long time ago. She now owns a big interior decoration thing in the city where we live. 
Mommy, you have to allow me follow the direction of my heart. You have to allow me follow my heart, Mom. Please. Even if your heart is leading you to the burning fire, I should fold my hands, allow you burn, allow you destroy. Is that what you mean? Mom, I love Lizzie. I love her so much, she means a lot to me. But that love is for the wrong person. It is dangerous. Oh, how? Okay. Do you know how many demons she's carrying around? Don't you know that the more men she sleeps with, the more demon she contacts? Yes. Let me tell you. Sex is a spiritual exercise. There are demons that are very dangerous. Demons are dangerous. Or do you want to be infected by a demon that will destroy your future? Do you want to be infected with such demon? Demon that will be tormenting you? Please, let her go. Mom, that is not true. That is not true at all. Huh? Yeah. If it is true, then it's too late. You say what? Did I hear you say it is too late? Michael! Oh, I should have known that. So, Michael! You have been sleeping with that thing. Is that what you're telling me? Huh. Hey, this is no longer my girl. It is no longer the way I brought you up. Please leave. Get out of my presence. Mom? Michael, please leave my presence at once. Mom, are you not seeing me like a demon? Go. I mean, son, you should be praying I for me, not, leave. not casting me out. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh. I see you go to see where. Damn. How? Michael. Mike. So, baby, tell me, how did he go? Like I told you, it's not going to be easy, you know? Yeah. But trust me, we'll win. Are you trying to say that she hasn't given in yet? I mean, will she even give in? It's not as tough as it was the first time. She's soft now. Oh. Yeah, but I know the next one or two push. The door will open. You think so? I mean, I pray so. I'm just tired. Maybe, um, I'm sorry for all the stress I've put you through. I really am. Um, it's okay. You don't have to worry yourself. It's our cross. We are going to be here together. What would I have done without you? I love you. I love you more and more and more and more and more. And I'll continue to love you to the rest of my life. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry if I startled you, but I'm not happy. What 
Why are you being cruel to me? You've not been picking my calls. What's cruel about someone who wants to live his private life? I'm not stopping you from living your private life, okay? But stop treating me like I'm some waste being or something. I'm human and I like you. I know, just that I need to focus. Please, I have to. I, I'm not stopping you. I need to concentrate. I'm not stopping you from concentrating. After everything we've shared together. Come on now, think about it. What we shared was just mere secondary school, loss, gone of teenage curiosity to explore. Okay? It doesn't hold any water at all. It does. It holds waters. I cared and I still care about you. You know I'm into you, you know. Oh my send you die. Really? Yes. <laughs> uh, my dear, um, have you ever thought of the fact that I don't feel same for you? You do, and you know it. You do. But at least I've told you about the woman I'm in love with. The woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. A club stripper. A woman your mother doesn't want you to get married to? I never told you about this. How come? How come you know about it? Who told you? You told me! Yes, you did! I mean, if you hadn't told me, how would I have known? So if I did come here frequently to check on you, that's how you'd have forgotten me, right? So you're now trailing me? I'm not trailing you. If I were, I mean, I know your house. I would have come to your house, but I didn't want to come uninvited. You know what? Go ahead and trail me, okay? I'm out of here. My, my, my. Hey. So mm. tell me, girl, how is his mother say? What's his mother say? While I just say he's already making progress and convincing her, I wasn't even expecting it to be a smooth ride. Wait, wait, hold on. Are you trying to tell me that the mother is giving up? Not really. It's just that she's becoming more soft than usual. Oh. That means it's working. Oh. So tell me, how about Mike? Is he still going ahead with the marriage? Of course. Well, ah, oh, that reminds me. He's supposed to take me shopping today. I think I should call him to yes, rest. Yes, yes. One minute. Ah, oh, hey, baby. I wanted to remind you that you're supposed to take me shopping today. Remember? Oh, you're close. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting for you. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. I said it's close. Wow. I mean, finally I'll get to see our baby. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> My baby, not you. Oh. <laughs> come on. Um, girl, I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. No problem. All right. Just a few minutes. Okay. Where is 
Sifi, I thought she said she wanted to use the restroom. Yes, ma. She went into the restroom and rushed out immediately. Rushed out? How? Yes. I don't know. She left the office. That was even before um, Uncle Mike came. Uh, hello, babes. Where are you? My sister, I went to pee and then I found out that my menstrual cycle started today. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. And you know, Mike is already here. I'm rushing home to go change up. I don't know if he can wait. No, 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 no need for that. You know, he's not really the special to talk and all that. Just take care of yourself and I'll just do it later. All right, all right. Thank you. Sorry, eh? Thank you, my darling. I'll give you other just later, okay? Bye. <laughs> just okay. I have never seen this kind of bestie. Jealousy, envy, all over her mind. A put a Why do you allow devil to use you, baby? Why do we not distance to your bestie? Yeah. Stop forcing love. Love comes, love goes, and you know. This has been her dream, and you know, true love is her dream. This girl is wicked, she's a green snake in the green grass. Oh, be feeling a nice She's a green snake in the green grass. She's a green snake, she's a green snake. In a green grass, but she claimed to love She's you. She's a green snake in a green grass. Oh, why people like me? She's a green snake in a green grass. Oh, bestie, bestie. She's a green snake in a green grass. I have never seen this kind of bestie. Jealousy, envy, all over her mind. Why do you allow devil to use you, baby? Why do we not distance to your bestie? Yeah. Stop forcing love. Love comes, love goes. And you know, Babe, you fuck up. This has been you fuck up, Lizzie. No be so. No be so live, you. You fuck up big time. You see this thing where you do, eh? You see this thing where you do? Now nah, this thing where you do make me stop so they give babes. Correct me. Don't be so... You fall my hand. Now nah, you are the child. She's talking to you. Sorry, who are you talking to? You, Lizzie. You, 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 Lizzie. I'm talking to you. Which can you call me with this now? You don't fall for Jovia Mama. Huh? Why don't you? Yes. I've been back to the phone. Yes. Now me, now me, now still me, Jovia Mama, where they give you more. I mean, they give you work, all the money where you they chop, where they use the people like this. Now me, I mean, they give you more. Hey, what, what is she talking about? I don't even know this person. I mean, how am I supposed to know this demented multicolor homo sapiens? There's no one who knows. The multicolor, eh? Now I be that babe where they give you man for club. Where they use the finger, all these things. Now still, Jovia Mama, you they found because of this move where follow you, they found here. You are fun because of this mugu abi, no be so. I'm gonna still catch you for drunk. Let's let's watch your mouth. Listen, what? you can talk to me or come whatever you want to come, but please do not talk to my man. Don't be fighting my man as a Sorry, who are you? I don't know her. Cross. Now me. Now me be Jovia Mama. So what's happened? What is the problem? This babe where you they see, this ungrateful girl where you they see, chop my 10%. Eh? After I come strip finish for Las Vegas <laughs> Club. <laughs> Las Vegas <laughs> Club VIP. Now I give her one better correct man. The man, the man be lamb as the man give her 300k. He chop the money, finish. Come tell me say that 200k the man give her. I see the man for club yesterday. Come tell her say why he cut my money. Say why he cut my money, the man tell me say that 300k. He give you, he give you this ungrateful girl. You won't chop my money, I be. You won't chop my 10%. Wait, are you saying you know this? Are you saying you know this lady very well? I know her 
Ghana, I know her very well. No be lazy. No be lazy. First class stripper. Okay, if you claim you know her very well, then you should have her number. Yes, yeah. yes, I have, have her number. Just wait, just wait. Now lie, she they lie. No be her number, be this. Lizzy. Lizzy, the dirty girl. Is that not her number? Me, dirty yes. girl. B. B, this is your number. How come? Baby. Oh. You. I. I. Your eye. Baby, wait, baby. Who the hell are you? Baby, wait. Baby, baby, wait, baby. Baby, 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 wait. Who? Baby, wait. Baby, I don't know that bitch. I don't know her. I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump. Baby, that's what is of the bitch of her. Why are you? Hey, baby, baby, wait. Baby, please wait, wait. Baby, wait. Listen to me. I do not ever want to see Lizzie in this compound. Okay, if you ever open this gate for Lizzie, I am going to throw both of you out of this compound. No problem, sir. Do you get that? Yes, sir. Good.
Yes. Yes. Please, I, 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 I want to see my kids. Sorry. Mother has instructed me not to open the gate for you. So you have to go back now. Mike, Mike did what? He asked you not to open the gate for me. Yes, ma'am. Well, fine. Since he doesn't want to open the gate for me, just let him know that I'll be waiting for him here. All day, all night, whenever he comes out, I will be right at this gate. Just make sure he gets the message. Okay, ma'am. Auntie Lizzie. She's outside the gate. She says she'll log out if she sees you. I don't She's understand. Still... Is that supposed to be your problem? Huh? What's your business about that? Come, my friend, will you get back to your post? Um, sir, is she going to spend the night outside there? Spot to you what you tell her before she leaves. Okay. When you get there, get back to your post, my friend. You're asking me if I went for any shopping. Eh, see, if you really want me to be alive to, to, to live on tomorrow morning, just find a way to where I am right now. I'm, I, I'm, I'm in front of Mike's house. He, he locked me out. He's not even talking to me. It's okay. Stop crying. Just send me the address. Send the address to me, okay? I'll be there before you know it. Okay, I'll send something. it to you now. Please, just hurry up, please. Whoever that girl is, so whatever that sent them shall die an untimely death. Here I was rejoicing that we have, I mean, we have conquered that phase of life. Now we are here again. Honestly, they shall never go unpunished. What's all this now? What is all this? What is this now? When I was already rejoicing that we have won this battle and boom, they come again. Girl, come on, don't cry. You don't have to cry. You shall pull through this. You are a strong girl. I know you. Come on, cheer up. You see this God? God is not asleep. They shall reap the fruit of their evil. I assure you that. In fact, we are going on a 21 days fasting again for this sake. Remember, we conquered it. But this time, Dangote Chola will jam them. Who's this calling me at this time? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, dear. You want me to come now? I 
I will be there now. Okay, just, just give me a few minutes, okay? Let me round up what I'm doing. All right, love. Okay, okay. Um, girl, um, <clears throat> a customer of mine needs a home service. Okay, so I need to go attend to her. She's a very prominent customer, so. I just, come on now, don't be like this. You're a strong girl. Come on. Put yourself together. Look at how you, how scattered your hair is. Hmm? Don't worry. As soon as I'm done, I will come and... Yes, my magic is working. I need to go be with him. He needs me now. <laughs> of course, he needs me. Oh, this is this is too bad. This is quite embarrassing. I mean, it's such a shameful act. I tell you. I was like, so if my mom and my siblings were to be with us, this is how they would have been embarrassed by the woman I called my wife. Oh no. Ah, this is too much. Actually, I've looked into it and I've decided to advise myself. You know I was advising you then and you wouldn't listen. Yeah, I write to wear. Thank God you can see now. Yeah, on the other hand, I, I said to myself, maybe we're meant to be together. You know, destiny brought us back so we can start from where we stopped. But I, out of my stubbornness and foolishness, I, I believe they actually made me to see where fate is taking us. <laughs> I've slept over it. Okay. And then I've decided to call off the relationship with Lizzie and <gasps> go back to you. <laughs> yeah. You see? Yeah, I... I would have thought of this the first time I saw you again, after losing hope of seeing you again. I know, right? I know! Destiny can be delayed, but it's never denied. Baby, you belong to me. I mean, come give me a hug! <laughs> and her husband were ready to get married soon. That we should wait because we want to accord her the respect. Fine, we waited. You said it's not going to pass one month. Three months is gone. Tell me, what is going on? Are you trying to discharge me or something? Uh -uh. Baby, how can you talk like that? Just tell me if you're no longer interested in this marriage. Let me know my stand. Yes. Baby. I love you. And you know it. I still want to marry you. And you know it too. Please. Then what is holding us from getting married? My eldest sister. Please, save me that crap. Don't tell me that. 
I am sick and tired of hearing that nonsense every time. Please. All the time your sister, your elder sister. It's okay, please. Nah. Uh, please, um ah, uh, would you excuse her? No problem. Uh Mama. Come. You're welcome, Mom. Oh. Okay. Let me see my work. I'll be right back. A bed at hand worth more than 10,000 beds in the bush. I heard what that young man is saying. I think he's right. You should allow him to come and do the needful. Besides, I don't understand what your sister is doing. As her own marriage is shaking, let not be waiting to get it right and we we'll lose both of them. Eh? Allow him come and do the needful. Oh, mommy, no go. Please. And no go. Oh, I'm going to Yeah? I have had you. Hmm? Since you already have the marriage list, hmm? you can go ahead and call your people. Baby, relax. Huh? I understand you want to achieve something, but please, we cannot continue waiting for people who may not even come true in the next one year. I am ready to settle down. I want to pay your bright price and officially know you belong to me because time waits for nobody. Yes. It's okay, my love. I've had you. Oh, really? Mm, yes. You can go ahead and fix the date. Ah. I am king. Oh, thank you, baby. You're thank welcome. you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Thank you so much. Thank you. Seriously, Chizara. I don't know who I might have offended. You know, all my life, I have only done one wrong thing, and that is being a stripper. But I have never taken anything that belongs to someone else. Why would someone be doing this to me? Why would someone want to tarnish my happiness? Why? It's okay, sister. It's okay. Yeah. Whoever it is that is doing this to you, is forgetting that there is God in heaven watching over everything that is happening in this world. Who's to go? Huh? It's okay. It's okay. You know, I have come to the conclusion that you should go ahead with your wedding. I mean, you don't need to wait for me since your husband is waiting. I would have loved to see you get married before me. Yes, seriously. Listen, I guess this is the will of God. Maybe he, um, I'm not even crafted to get married at all. Maybe this is the way God wants it. No, 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 please. Don't talk like that, okay? See, you will get married one day. It is the will of God, and no man. No man born of a woman can stop it. Okay? It's okay. Stop complaining, okay? If you say so. Baby, mm. when is your sister getting married? Have we not waited enough? Mm. Baby. I am here so we could fix our wedding. I thought you said your sister is getting married. That we should wait 
and give her that respect. When they are done, then we can kick off. Yes, I see it so, but I have changed in my mind. What happened? What's the problem? Never mind. You are now hiding things from me. <coughs> uh, baby, it's not like that. Okay, uh, I don't. Just that my sister is having serious problems in her relationship. Yeah? And their marriage plans are still pending. So you see, I can't keep waiting. I can't continue waiting for her. So, what's the problem? Huh? Yes, what happened? <laughs> Nothing. The man found out her stripping occupation. Who told you that? How do you know about it? You hid it from me. You couldn't tell your best to hide it from me. Oluchi. Oluchi told you about my sister. Oluchi. I didn't change anything. Let's fix a date for our marriage rights. What am I saying? My baby! Oh my god. Look at this! Look at you! May turn the fire that your smelly mouth you use in calling me bestie. You call me your bestie, yet you went behind me to stab me up, yeah? What have I done, Kwano? Eh? What eh? have I done? In Ajum. So you don't know what you did? <laughs> Only to see, your plans have failed. <laughs> After everything you told my man about my sister, yet he still wants to marry me. Yele me wogi, yele me bwe kwensu, yele me wogi on your jaw. And listen, let me tell you, for your information, my wedding is coming up in two weeks' time. Yes, and I don't want to see this your filthy mbaji legs in my compound because if I do, Oluchi, if I do, eh, what I will do to you? What I will do to you, Oluchi, you will not believe yourself. On your jaw. Eh, hey, see. You see you. You will remain in this village. Eh? Ega wo unajano. Hey! You will remain in this village, yo. Are you not at it? You are clocking 40. <laughs> On your jaw, bad things happen to bad people. Fear kwa. Let me see you. I am sorry. I'm your best friend, no? I'm sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I'll go looking for you, sir. What are you doing here? <laughs> what did you do to your bestie, eh? If you want to did she say do anything to her? Yeah! I don't know, but I saw her raking and shouting and telling people how bad you are, how you've been spoiling her behind, and how you've been trying to stop her wedding. Hey! Where? How? Where did you see her? Hey! <laughs> hey! Bessie and your last in our church. Bessie! Bessie, Bessie! Where did you see her? Bessie. Nena, tell me, where did you see her now? Nena, tell me where you saw her now. Oh, hey, God. I am finished. I have never seen this kind of bestie. Jealousy, envy. Mr. Senani, this is a new stock. I just bought it. I don't want you using my nails to paint your hands. Do you hear me? Drop that phone! 
This one is one five. What is this now? What will be this now? Eh? What will be this? Hey. Ify. What is going on? It's been one week now you refuse to pick up my calls. And now I just called you, you're, you're, you're putting it on busy. Did I do something wrong? This is brown. The color is very hard to find. Hmm? You sell it 2000. 2000. 2000. Why did you put this thing here now? Eh? I told you, I told you to, to, to throw this in the way. Why, why, why did you pack it with the new ones? Sorry. What's wrong with you? Sorry. Shut up your mouth! What is all this now? Eh? What is it this? If, person not pick, if I don't pick the gun, that means the person is busy. Eh? You will call somebody, call, 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 call. You want to kill my battery. If I let me just block her line. No ah. sense. Shut up your mouth! Are you mad? Who gave you that? Who gave you that God to talk to me like that? Eh? You will call somebody morning to night. You call it. I'm not picking the call. You are still calling the person. What is it? Eh? Am I with your kidney? Am I with your kidney? Why are you calling me? I owe your destiny. Wish. This one I shine shine for slay queens. Hmm? So it's two five. What did I say? Two five. Baby, mm -hmm. tell me, when am I meeting your family? I'll prepare for a wedding first. Then, I'll try and get a wedding card ready, take it to my mother, which after that I'll introduce you to my mother. she have no option than to accept you. Okay, but well, hold on. Are you saying your mother may not like me? No, not at all. What I'm trying to say is that I don't want what happened for the last relationship to happen again. I don't want any debate at all. You know, whether she likes you or not. I understand. So, when are you coming to see my people then? Mm -hmm. Once you got a list from your people, we'll fix a date. Right after um, the white wedding, straight to your hometown for traditional wedding and reception. Immediately, everything at once. <laughs> Baby, I love you so much. Love you more. Mm -hmm. I love you. Thank <laughs> you. Baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. Mm -hmm.
I love it. I'm happy you love it. <laughs> you know, um, my people haven't stopped talking about you. They kept saying, no wonder I've been selected with my man and that you are just the best, honestly. Don't say that again. <sighs> you know, I've, I've started imagining how our kids will look like. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Baby! You're happy, right? <laughs> of course I am! Why wouldn't I be? I mean, it's, it's, it's an invitation card. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just... <laughs> oh, thank you. Let's cheers. Cheers, sir. That? Uh, please, can, can I have your phone, please? I want to use it with a call. It's on my desk, man. Please get it for me fast. I hope there's no problem, man. No, I just want to try someone's number with a different, you know, man. Okay, man. Thank you. going on? Why? Like, has it gotten to the point that you have to block my lines? I've been trying to pick you up this while. What is going on? No, listen, if we need to... Hello? Hello? You were saying something. Ma, the proposal for the last client is ready. Bring them in, just get it's here already. Okay, yeah. I mean, I can understand that you ghosted me, it was your choice. But why block me? What did I do? What is cooking? That is cooking. Who is Mike? Mike, you 
This is a joke, right? A joke? Excuse you? Mike and I were secondary school lovers. And then we lost contact. And guess what? We met again. And we started off exactly where we stopped. So yes, girl, we are getting married. Your bestie is getting married. <laughs> this is bullshit. Hmm. Now this, 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 this doesn't make sense to me. What is wrong with you, Ife? No, is this what besties are meant for? You used my past to snatch my money away from me, hey, you bitch! Yeah. Hey! Snatch? What are you talking about? Mike is mine and mine alone, so I just took back what rightfully belongs to me. Who's all this? Well, I have a news for you. Okay. That wedding of yours will never hold. Oh. That is over my dead body. Do you know what? I am going to kill myself. I will not be alive and watch you marry my man. Not because you're worth it, but because you are I me. Mean, I lost my man to my own bestie. Someone that is supposed to be my friend. You're a disgrace. Disgrace? Is mine. You are not going to take your life. Baby. Hey. Hey, hey don't even try it. Rubbish. I need a someone who was after your happiness. Someone wants to use your past against you. But your words that night gave me a clue of who that person might be. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Do you want to spend the night out here? Then if you do not want me to spend the night out here, you should at least give me a listening ear. Talk, I'm listening. Seriously, babe. I don't know where that woman came from. I don't know where that content from the beat of hell kept. That, that demented, that... That's Egypt from the abyss of hell. I don't know where the hell she brought herself out from, but I do not know her. Baby, for the past five years, I have not been to club. And I've just been dating only you. How? I've, I've also stopped stripping for five years now. How, how come she... I don't know. Then who else knew that we'd be going to the mall today? Who else? I only, t I only told my, my best friend. If he... If he? Yes, that's her name. Take her to the guest room. Okay, sir. Uh, babe. Babe. In as much as I know you're very angry when you make your and you could decide to cut off the relationship, I do not have a problem with that. At least I'm happy now that I've told you the truth. Feel. 
e fim. Hmm. Ah, do you know that I dreamt about you last night and I never knew I was going to meet you here? Hmm. See how God works. Me, I've searched for you. I've searched everywhere for you. On the Facebook, on the internet, on the on the Twitter, everywhere I've searched for you. I couldn't just find Wait, you. Wait, hold up. No How can you tell me that you searched everywhere? I mean, do you even know my name on of Instagram? Of course. Of course. If Nanya Mbori. <laughs> How do you even think in this world that I will use such name? That's my handle. Come they are on. your real name. You should be using them. Okay, do you think I've not searched for you? I searched for you. Why are you not using Michael Konkwa? <laughs> yes, now. Why are you not I using it? I have a it? business and I have a company. So I'm using my company name instead of my real name. And that is at Miko Venture. Uh, oh, please. Please don't shake this table. We are both in the same table. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, how have you been? I have been fine. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you not yet married? I'm not married. Are you? Uh, not actually. Yay! No, 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 no. Not too fast. Not too fast, okay? Because I'm almost married. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really? Yeah. Tell me about it. You know, I, I'll i be going to my wife's village very soon to see them. To see her people. Yes. Okay. I'll be going to their village to see her people very soon and um i mean you know I, we've actually met with my mother and my mother approved our union so we're getting married very soon wow okay <sighs> yeah yeah congratulations but you told me you've been abroad i mean did you guys meet over there or here uh, no not really we met here in nigeria i actually met her in her office you know she's running one big Interior decoration fame. Yes. I met her in her office. And she'll be the one to handle my new house. <laughs> Anything do you know her? No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop. No, I don't. And um, what's her name? Her name is Lizzie. Lizzie? Yeah. I've never come across that name oh, before. Whoa! I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's that's really nice, you okay. know. Congratulations. Oh. My Oga is back. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll just wait for you here. Okay. Let me let me get something. Yes. Okay. Can you on the AC? So iffy, uh, iffy. Okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the girl is living the soft life. You know? Even though she tries to hide it, it was so obvious. Yes, it was. The other time someone was calling her and she didn't want to pick her call. I asked, who was calling you? She said her bestie. It's fine, okay? Drink up. Okay. She didn't want calling. She has been calling, but I, I didn't just want to pick her calls. Why is she calling? I mean, maybe, maybe to explain. But I wonder what she wants to talk about. Explain what? That she's a whore and she has been milked of her juice. You need a decent woman, a woman befitting for a king. Not a loosed woman, a dog, okay? Pick up your call. Pick up your call, please. Let me... Oh my goodness. I'm begging you in the name of God, just pick up. Who is calling you? No, it's nobody. Is that your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Come on, I'm too big for that. 
I mean, at my age, I shouldn't be doing a boyfriend, nah. Okay, your fiancé, right? Fiancé? Yeah. <laughs> well, I do not have a man in my life right now, okay, if that's what you want to hear. And besides, it's, it's not even a guy, so don't worry about it. So can I say the name of the person that just called you? Bestie, bestie. Come on, don't do your face like that. Best, my bestie is a girl. Okay, not a guy. I'm not dating anyone right now. Okay, so you deserve someone better in your life, not some whore. Okay? Okay? Not even you, no, not, not you, my best friend. You need to pick up your call at this point of my life because I'm losing it. Someone needs to talk to me for goodness sake. Pick up your call, pick up. Oh my God, what's going on? Why would you not pick your bestie's call? Why? Lizzie's bestie never showed up to meet me. Three times we booked an appointment. Three times she disappointed us. If he, your game is up, watch me play my own game now. I knew that the only way to find out the truth is to tell her the language she wants to hear. And that is marriage. Hey. Here we are. But you know what? No one is going to tear us apart because we're meant to be together. That is the truth. So do not mind this fool. Okay? Hey, 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 don't even try it. You be while you go to them. Silly. Sweetheart. No, no, I, no, no, no. I'm here to play with you. Where is my money? The job didn't work again. All her efforts landed to futility. That is your own cup of tea. Not my business. I did everything you asked me to do. So pay me my money. Are you down to something? As we speak, he is right in her office kissing her. How is that my concern? Huh? Well, it is your concern. Because the job didn't work. A 
I mean, how am I supposed to pay you for it? For an exercise that didn't work? How? Don't joke with Egedege. Don't joke with me! Egedege does not joke with her money. Do you think this is a joke? Do you think this is a joke? Do you know what I am going through right now? Do you know the, emo the emotional trauma I am going through? Do you know the mental torture I am going through? You are here asking me for money. I am not giving you a dime. Egede Ege does not joke with her money. To hell with you. Oh! 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 In your next life, don't mess with a negro like me. Why do we not distance to your bestie? 